When Train rolled through the chip, fans were out in force to experience the melodic voice of lead singer Pat Monahan. When the band surprised everyone and bust out an extensive badass set, making for one of the most captivating shows of the festival, Pat took some time right before his performance to step into Studio 14 with Sturgis Rider TV and discuss his first time at the chip, share what he's learned from his fans, and show our host the best way to karate chop a fly. I'm in the studio with Train. Welcome to the Buffalo Gym. Thanks. I, I'm not really Train. I'm just the singer of Train, but you can call me Train. My name's Pat. But hi. <laughs> hi, Pat. I'm in the studio with Pat from Train. <laughs> How's it going, Pat? Good. I'm I'm Train. I'm just. <laughs> we should just do it again because I'm just, now I'm just playing with you. Now you're fucking with me. You're funny. Sorry. <laughs> I'm in the studio with Pat from Train. Hi, welcome to the Buffalo Chip. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for letting me be on your show. This has been the one concert of the entire Buffalo Chip lineup that I have been most looking forward to. Oh, How does it cool. feel thanks. for you to be playing at the largest music festival? There's a pretty amazing list of uh, bands and artists. That's a really good, great compliment. Thank you. Um, this is daunting for me because there's some very loud motorcycles out there, and they rev their engines when they like it or in the middle of it if they don't. And so I don't know when we're gonna be hearing the revs, but I'm hoping it's after every song instead of during. <laughs> it's, it's a good feeling with the revs. It's not, I never heard it was when it was bad. I always heard it was when it was okay. Maybe they're liking it in the middle. It's Only like, good. this is a really good note. Okay, I'm really cool. liking it. So the revving is a good thing. I'll just take it as that. There's a lot of revving going on out there. It's really good. Yeah. And you just released your new album, Bulletproof Picasso. It comes out in September, on September 16th. Uh, but we have a, a single called Angel and Blue Jeans. And, uh, and then another song that we released as well, pre-order called uh, Bulletproof Picasso as well. Now, with that anagram you released for the new single, were you surprised how quickly your fans figured that out? I, I, you know, our fans never surprise us. So we have really wonderful people and they're very smart and got it together. So. What is next on the plate for you guys? You know, we're gonna travel to Colorado and then go overseas to to the UK and, and play some some shows and then come back and uh, get ready for our release of the album and tour all over the United States and go to Australia and Japan and uh, Asia and everywhere. And although Japan is in Asia, so uh, so we'll just uh, go all over there and then back to all over Europe and just see if the world still likes us. I have to ask this. I heard you guys played Howard Stern's birthday. Are there yeah. some really good stories, or how crazy was we, that? We were his uh, his house band, and it was really one of the greatest experiences of our careers and probably our lives. Just because, you know, when you go to an event like that, it's very stuffy and funny and weird, and everybody's like, ah, I don't really fit in. So everybody who would feel like that at an event, like a big event with a lot of celebrities, all of those celebrities were there, so it was really amazing, super funny, really great guests and people, and everybody was great, and the stories there are never ending. You know, like we, uh, I got to sing with John Bon Jovi and Steven Tyler, uh, Slash played with us. You know, the, one of the highlights uh, of the night for me was seeing John Fogarty, like from Creedence Clearwater Revival. He's still such an amazing performer. So there were a lot of great moments, and Howard, of course, and, and Robin are lovely. And last but not least, whenever you first booked your gig at the Buffalo Ship, what was your initial thought? I've been wanting to come here since the beginning, well, when I knew that, that this was an event in Sturgis. Uh, how's it going, fly? Uh, so being invited uh, is really our only chance to come to, to perform, because being invited to perform, because we're so busy all the time that we, I'll be in my 60s before I can ride in on a bike. And so this was a, a great way to uh, uh, be invited. So we're, we're all so excited. I, I hope that people like us as much as we like them. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about while we're here? I like your shirt a lot. It's a cool shirt. Trying to visit for the military day. What's that? We had the military tribute day today. Oh yeah. We're representing where it's my dad really a cool tags. shirt. Uh, I love your face. I love your camera guy. I like the fly, even though the fly's bugging me. <laughs> the fly belongs here probably as much as us. So uh, thanks for having us. I look forward to your performance. Thanks. That's it for me. Thanks for watching Sturgis Rider TV. That's not the fly. That's just karate moves. What's up? <laughs> Thank you, Kat. Bye, guys. Thank you.